Hello everyone and welcome to a short video we're doing today on Notary Tool. Now Notary Tool was introduced in Xcode 13 slash Monterey and it provides a greatly simplified flow for notarizing your Mac applications. Now I've already done a tutorial on how you can notarize your applications either using direct Xcode directly or using your own shell script. And basically the script that we would usually run is something along these lines uh, before, but the notary tool can really simplify this down to a single line like this and does everything for you. So why did the sort of structure have to usually be this complicated if you needed to do this previously? Well, the previous flow used this uh, used part of AL tool and there was a parameter called notarize app. And then you had to pass these various parameters to do really just notarization. So you had to pass this bundle identifier thing with an email and then you had to identify the password somehow and usually you try to pull this out of keychain. And then there was this ASC provider and then finally you actually uploaded the file. But then that wasn't really it because that just uploaded it to the servers. You had to then basically pull or ask Apple <laughs> repeatedly uh, what the status of your notarization was. So uh, to do that, you usually would create this kind of loop thing to keep asking for the status of a given request identifier. And then finally, uh, eventually it would tell you that it failed or it succeeded or something like that. And that was pretty much how it worked. Um, but you know, that's kind of complicated and there was a lot of unnecessary uh, things that you really had to do in this setup. And what's nice about Notary Tools really is just this one line to do all of that code above. So you just pass the, the zip file that you're uploading to uh, um, Apple or whatever the thing is that you're trying to notarize. Then you have this given keychain profile name that you associate it with the application so or with notarization. So we're going to talk about how we can set that up. But really, this is the only real setup part that you have to do is configuring keychain to do this correctly. And then there's this really convenient little um, parameter at the end called dash dash wait, which allows you to wait for the completion of notarization. So basically it will do the upload to Apple servers and then it will actually do the waiting part for you. And then it will tell you whether your notarization was successful. And, and this command will not return until that actually occurs. So you don't have to set up you know, the whole polling thing. So that's how notary tool works. Let's talk about how we can actually set it up. So uh, the first thing we need to do is uh, run AL tool and we need to get our list of providers. And I'm going to do this with my email. Um, uh, all right, and then we can run this. Uh, what Xcode is asking or what terminal rather is asking you for right now is the app specific password for that email address. So if you have not done this, uh, you just go to appleid.apple.com and you can set up an app specific password. I've gone ahead and created a notary specific password that I'm just pasting in right now. So I'm pasting in that password and I will get the results here. So once you've done that, uh, what you really want is this team ID thing at the end. So we'll, we'll get that uh, settled out uh, at the end. Um, so now we have to actually configure a notary tool. So it's pretty straightforward You say XC run notary tool. And if you want to learn more information, you can just say dash H and this will give you all the different commands that you can do with um, notary tool. And what we're going to be using is to first set up notary tool, you need to run store credentials. So we're going to do that. So I'm just going to go ahead and do notary tool store credentials and run that. And actually I didn't want to run that, but I want to do dash H on that. And this will give us more information on running this command. Now, apparently there's a way that you can do this with app store connect and creating a API key where you can download the private keys and then you use this key ID and issuer. I've tried this before and I, for whatever reason, can't seem to get it to work. So if other people know how to get it to work, that's great. Uh, it's supposedly the preferred way to do it, but uh, I don't know. I don't know how to actually get it to work. So um, you can try it on your own time. But uh, in this particular tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can use the app specific password approach to doing this. So uh, to set this up, we just say store credentials, and then we want to say the Apple ID that we're associating with this. So be my email. 
and this is the email that is your Apple ID, obviously. Uh, then we have the password. Uh, actually, I'm gonna save that. Well, may as well do that right now. So password, uh, paste in my uh, app specific password for this, uh, this example. And then the last thing we need to do is the team ID. So we can say team ID, and we're gonna copy that from here and we will paste that into the bottom. So once we've done that, that's all we really need to do and we can hit return. And now uh, Notary Tool is going to prompt us for the profile name in which we're saving these credentials. So this is very important. You wanna just make a name that you're going to reference later. So uh, I'm just gonna call it test profile for now, but name it something. You maybe wanna call it you know, Notary Profile or something like that, uh, or maybe your iCloud specific notary profile, I don't know what you want to call it, but call it something. And once you've done that, it will save your uh, notary profile to the keychain. So now we've saved uh, all this to the keychain and uh, you can see at the bottom that it tells you that if you want to use this, you should say dash dash keychain profile test profile. So I'm going to go ahead and clear out my terminal, but I want to jump over to keychain access and I'm going to just do a search. So if you go into Keychain Access and you search for Notary, uh, conveniently Apple saves this under uh, this sort of Notary brand here, which is com.apple.gke.notary.tool, blah, blah, blah. But at the end, it actually tells you uh, the name of the uh, profile. So if you are ever confused as to what you maybe have already saved, uh, you can go into Keychain Access and see that. So I, I use this personal Notary one here but the one I just created was test profile, and um, you can see that in Keychain. So just something to note. And I wanna jump back, because I just wanna demonstrate how we would use this, right? So now uh, that we've talked about this, we'd have our uh, path to whatever we wanted to upload to uh, Apple servers, whether that's a zip file or uh, something else. And we can then just run uh, our uh, command. We would use that test profile name, that we just created a few seconds ago, right? And so we would uh, call notary tool, submit, and then we pass the path to the zip file or whatever we're trying to upload, keychain profile, the name of the profile, and then wait. And that's all you have to do to do the equivalent of what we had in this example previously. So anyway, I hope uh, this is a nice short video that uh, can simplify some of your workflows out there for notarization. All right, I'll see you in another video. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel, give this video a like, and share it with your friends. Ways to contribute and additional information are in the description. I'll see you next week.